should be better. So I'm going to start over, we're going to do it again. This time, better. Alright, I'm gonna do it in the entire new game. Luckily, I didn't get that far. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do the crowd thing. How about that? There we go. Oh, right. Then. Let me sign in then. Yay. So crowd play is on, so whoever comes into the stream can uh, can uh, help out on your phones and tablets and whatever. How do we? Ooh. Uh, how do? How do we do? What if I want to do it anew? What is that bat meter? That's still this guy should be done already. 
Oh god. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Selena. I teach you to knock. Behind you, big boy. Oh. Intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. <sighs> Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. Ouchies. so sure. <laughs> Got her! Yeah! Get back here! <laughs> Go to all that trouble for this. Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. Oh. God damn it! I said don't shoot you. No. Wait. <clears throat> Oh, 
No! I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. <laughs> Don't struggle or you'll fall. Oh, but that's what you crave. The struggle. I know men like you. Bye, Bat. <laughs> Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. Ah! Welcome to Gotham. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. But for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to, to finally, finally put, put your, your foot, foot down. down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Uh, well, I have been up to as always. nothing, really. Uh, Say I've been hi, playing Bruce. a lot of Warframe. Oh, hi, Bruce. No. Uh, enjoy my wine. It's expensive. <laughs> enjoy drinking my wine. It's worth more than most of you. <laughs> no, he's, he's kidding, everyone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no wine is that expensive. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I didn't even mean to do that. Everyone for your unwavering support. <laughs> I didn't Together, know he was going to say that. We will change Gotham. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now I know. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Warframe in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. <laughs> you are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and Ooh. shaking hands. No one came here tonight Tell to us see me. I want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public? This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. Put a den in crime. Oh, all right, all right. How about, uh... 48 hours? I'm like, what? That's not bad. in, Harvey. Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, 
where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? 40 hours is quite a while. I've only played Tales of, uh, what's it called? Tales of... I forgot. I forgot what it is. Exilia. Tells Exilia. What's up, BJ? By the way, you can do the if you go to that that little that little thing right there, the little Mr. Wayne, crowd play like URL, you, you can help Regina me make choices Zilla. on this game. By the two. way. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street. But I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. Okay. After all, all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. Huh. I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know, like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman, or whatever it's called. Hello. Harvey Dent is our best shot. Put him in a room with anyone for 15 minutes and that grin will win him over. He's gonna need more than that, son. Oh, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. We've still got time. Uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. Mm, mm. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh. To be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway. It was terrible. Truly terrible. Thanks for reminding me. Tragedy like that at such a young age. It must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment. Maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few Darren, do you, Mr. Wayne? Thank you for the host. Press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what Thank you for Bruce the host. Taking Gotham over this one host at a time. The social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. It's so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Just between us, politics bore the hell out of me. Too many words, not enough action. Didn't think you were the type to get his hands dirty. Oh, you'd be surprised. Mr. Wayne, you've, you've got something on your collar. Is it blood? 
Um, is that blood? Yeah. It looks like... No, oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just, uh, cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. <laughs> Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but, uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Oh no, it's Falcone or Carmine, which Carmine one? Carmine Falcone? Yeah, 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 there you go. Yeah. Is the <laughs> Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. How are you doing, Darren? <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. Yeah, right. I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk up, sky high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. Is that? I think I'll take it. Victor Sullivan? Though the decor offends my eyes. You can't afford it. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Well, you couldn't afford it. Yeah, D. Come on, Falcone. It is. Thank it's Victor Sullivan. Oh my gosh. What do you say? Oh God. You're a respectable man, I hear. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy is going to sell me his house. Gentlemen. Perhaps we'll ah, maybe I should have shook the hand. Ah, man. Color. They're gonna see color me as like a friggin... Like, he was in cahoots with Carmine Falcone. Like, now I just shook his hand because I... Oh, God. Hey, you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill at... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... Ah, ah, what did I say? Well, we got somebody in the crowd play. Aw, oh, snap. The district attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But, in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. DP? I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me a digestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat, or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine, this is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move, and I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. 
hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Keep quiet. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Okay. For Gotham. For our city. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. Okay. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. Yeah. People don't say no to me. I just did. I just Not did. For long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. Zingers! Armada Zing! How you doing? That was Falcon, yeah. Like I said before, you can join the crowd play. We use that code and you can help me choose the choices that are displayed on the screen. It's really cool. Uh, DP was just doing it. Watching it's more me. Gotham? I did not watch more Gotham, but I'm watching Gotham now. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I like that Batmobile. though. That's pretty dope. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Episode one. <laughs> Realm of the Shadows. Boo. <laughs> If you want to play those Dark Around games, just let me know and I'll go off mode. Will do. Three of my vault dwellers in Fallout Shelter just Fallout. gave birth. Oh, yeah. Let's see what wow. she was really after. <laughs> I have yet, I have yet to control Bruce Wayne. And here we go. I, as I, as I just said that. <laughs> All right, data drive. Let me look at some other stuff. Uh, my tablet was off from the stream. I saw the colors before the choices. Ah, okay. James Gordon, Lieutenant James Gordon. He's a lieutenant now. Associates. Barbara Gordon, daughter. So she is alive. Go kill Superman. I'll do it real quick. Don't ask what his mother's name is, though. <laughs> Vicky Vale, a journalist. Gotham Gazette. And Carbon. Carmine Falcone, Skyline Club owner, head of the crime family. Falcone. Gotham City. Ten million people in Gotham City. Oh my goodness. Arkham Asylum. 1921 was established. Maximum Security Psychiatric Hospital. Wayne Enterprise. 1870. Good lord. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham. It's like if you don't know anybody. 
Gotham Police are investigating multiple cases of riders receiving Gotham feed. wounds from an ice pick or other pointed weapon. DA didn't pressure his mayor to decry vigilantes. While most have been admitted to Gotham General in critical condition, the police don't have any suspects at the time. Two more patients have gone Bad computers from should be able to read whatever data is on a stolen drive. From the half prison, half mental hospital to 15 this year. Only three have been Can I? <gasps> yes! Just let me, let me, let me live! Let me explore! Bear grapple. Can't believe I let her take that. Should be considered dangerous if found. Authorities are asking. Well, the test run at the mayor's office was a success. Immediately. I should see if I can refine the edge. I could be sharper. Could be sharper. To the point where I'll kill him. And deliver a jolt or knock out electricity in the area. And I suppose that cat woman would have preferred the latter. Newest addition can program it to reveal trace elements in a confined space. Can I keep going? Yes! Let me explore the back cave. Yeah, oh wow, look at that. That is sexy. That is a sexy battle pill. <laughs> I like the way it's edged and everything. <laughs> oh, there's a suit. The suit absorbed most of the damage from that gunshot. I've got to protect my back. Even from the police. Bruce Wayne turn on my car is confirmed. <laughs> Holographic lenses, voice modulation. Wayne Enterprises really outdid themselves with this version. Third button to like run. All right, what else is there before I before I go to the data port? All right, is the Batmobile? Okay, that's it. That's it. Fell off a building for this? And one mobster's murder caused quite a headache for commuters this morning. Let's find out what was so important. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And <laughs> yeah. I always find you here. <laughs> in a dark, damp cave. <laughs> in front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave <laughs> Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Is that even pressing anything? Oh, what? Oh, this is cool. What am I looking for? This is a map of the east side shoreline. Could mean any number of things. 
Money, weapons, drugs. Everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. <laughs> well, it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. <laughs> for the record, your father despised men like Falcone. Thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've seen her before. Hopefully she's just a tourist. No, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins... Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. That's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. Oh! Oh! I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now, trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have cancelled the event. Well, I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking at one. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though <laughs> I'm not partial to heights. Don't <laughs> uh, men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Park, 6 a.m. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oz? Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Oswald? You mean like Cobblepot? Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. I think he just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. If I remember correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be... It is a what? I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. What? That's Oswald. Oswald Cobblepot. What do you mean? Can you not put on a suit? <laughs> it, it's weird. I'm not going to say it's not weird. Because it's weird. Where are you, Oz?
Help Gotham. Uh, thank you, sir. I could have gave him like three hundred dollars and be fun. <laughs> Running late. Meet you great. by the statue. Oh, great. He blends right the in. Right, exactly. <laughs> no eyes. How you doing, smoking man? Watch wallet cash. Really? Like this goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? <sighs> Sorry, fellas. I've got nothing. And him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. No oh. moment! Come here! Oh. Think that'll do? Oh, God. I literally pressed the wrong button. It still Stay worked. Down. Used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Oh God! This is my park, mine. You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey Bruce, you've got a little. Uh... Ew. Yeah, hey, good as new. <laughs> well, that was a little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. You didn't need to take it so far. Some folks are fine hearing, Bruce. Others don't get the message unless it's beaten into them. Is it weird? It's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, you did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Well, that's just the way it goes sometimes. It's out of our control. Well, obviously, but you don't have to be a dick about it. What do you mean? You know, when I saw you at the party last night, I thought... Bruce Wayne. Ah, has it changed a bit? Maybe I was wrong. Shouldn't have been a surprise when I saw you with Carmine Falcone. Made himself right at home. That oily... Oh. Wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone... What bothers me is he, in the most is that he doesn't have a limp. <laughs> All he needs is a little push. And... 
It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? Or an umbrella. Not yet. Maybe later. Knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Mm. Penguin? Press conference for the new hospital starts soon. Car waiting on the south side of the park. Is that Arkham Asylum? Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> well, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the we criminally insane. Wow. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And we're still those who do get out. Or God forbid, escape are even more dangerous than before they went in. Call me. Gotham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility, one that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce. Uh. My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood, sweat, and <laughs> tears in this city. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, my hope is in Harvey to make sure a night like that never happens Again. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. <laughs> clap, 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 clap. It's such a, such a flaccid clap. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. 
With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I say we leave the asylum standing as a reminder that we can do better. This time, we won't fail those who need us most. All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne, uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. Okay. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please, keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? I'm reading this text. Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by... Oh, Arnold snap, no! Coney ...and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? <laughs> and did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Oh my god. Did gosh. you know wow. about this, Bruce? How long wow. has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne! Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage control's my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. What do you mean? Oh, no. Excuse me. Do they have a warrant hey, for this? Hey, careful. Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> it's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I understand. You're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill in the rain with skates on. Alfred. Keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. And what do you expect to find? That's for our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't comment. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Come on, bro. That better not be a picture of my parents. Oh no. Oh no, man. Oh no, man.
You... you don't have to do this. I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Uh, it's... It's not a problem, really. Ah, oh, Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. Yeah, we'll probably really going for the record, huh? <laughs> Showing the death scene. Listen, oh, yeah. Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Hill wants me out of the picture because with my backing, Harvey wins in a landslide. All signs point to Hill. <sighs> You're a kingmaker, Mr. Wayne. And Harvey Dent is Gotham's knight in shining armor just waiting for the crown. You're the first target on Hill's list. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters. Not wild speculation. I trust the record, then. Whenever you're ready. The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We have never had and never will have connections to organized crime. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Rail. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family... We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this... On the anniversary of your parents... It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. And that's why Batman is going to find out. Oh, no! Cafe Triste. Warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? I'm in a lot of trouble, Harvey. And I need your help to get me out of it. Yes, of course. Of course, whatever I can do. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah. Then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? It just doesn't make sense. 
He's scared. And what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? That is exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. Oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. We need to fight. <laughs> Hill cannot get away with this. It may not be a war we can win. The city will be behind you, Harvey, just like I am. There you are. Hey, you. Selena. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. What? What? Oh my god. You were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. Selena Kyle. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Kyle. Oh my gosh, dude. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, sorry. Selena's new to town. Oh my gosh. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? It's okay. Money doesn't buy manners, right? Oh my gosh, I should have said something else. <laughs> I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. Ha! I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Well, that's terrible. Did they catch the guy? Not yet. But if they don't, I will. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work... People tend to overreact. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. Wow. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Wizard! Uh, excuse me a moment. Howdy doodly. Hey, it's Harvey. Oh, snap, here we go. What the? Woo! Like, where's my stuff? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Nice to meet the real you. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not going to expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. Yeah, I am. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I'm the good guy. Someone has to be the good guy. I suppose you think that makes me a bad girl? Well, aren't you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, you have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, 
We've made this bed, and I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. Defense the guy. If they don't get what they want, His there will be Robert? consequences. I don't like consequences. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address. Now. No. Yeah, now. Give me the drive. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat. Not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've gotta run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? Next time. <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Like I am now? Gotham Docks Warehouse. Don't screw it up. I am loving this. This is actually really cool. Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. You gave him a doge? <laughs> oh. Okay. <clears throat> this wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? <sighs> I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. It's fired. An explosion? Molotov cocktail, maybe. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. All right, that too. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have? Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. Grammar. As you wish. Ah, oh, why? Nothing left to bury. Okay, that's a link. Ah, oh, please tell me this detective work. Tags of link are related to theorized connection. Link, link. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. Yeah, I'm Batman now. Batman. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. Yeah, but was set a guy up before went to class in the morning. Forgot about him until the next day. He probably died, that guy.
Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Okay. White Rose. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. No. That bad? Face slashed, throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Skylight Club. Definitely. Maybe Falcone's men? Maybe Falcone's being framed. It's been shot this in the head. Been badly burned. The damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Okay, what am I doing? Oh! Okay. Sensors say it's an incendiary route. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. All right. Hand soil, bits of torn flesh. He's been scratched, definitely, by him. Someone got shot, of course, on a scorched area. Something was here when the explosion occurred. A car. It drove away. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Oh. Now I'm trying to figure out why why is what was that? Why was there a bullet in there? Okay. Ground zero of the chemical explosion. Definitely between them two. No, 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 no. Not that, not that, not that. Not the incendiary building. Never seen a bullet do that. Shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Heist was he? How can they tell they were canisters based so far off, off the pallets? Probably because the container held something. I don't know. The gun had to have come from somewhere. Maybe all the way over here. It is incendiary, it's burnt in one side. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at the local gun store. 
It appears military. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. The snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops yes, I, I recently the made theft. a discord. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands and was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with a phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Goodness, I love Batman. Both targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. Then it could be here. Yeah, there we go. Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Out the window. Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. Yes. My turn. Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. Belconi, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't telling you, Jack. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. Oh, dude, I love that. <laughs> oh. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. Ah. <laughs> Tell me. 
The cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Uh, someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. Oh. 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 I start here and keep breaking until, until you answer. answer. Oh my god. Chemicals. Some kind of explosive. A weapon. I don't know. Falcone said he'd use them soon. Used where? That's all I know. I swear. I swear. I told you everything I know. You're an animal. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. It's Montoya. Send the cleanup unit to the docks. Warehouse 133. Hey! Freeze! Don't move! Stand down, Montoya. No. Thank God. You was about to kill me. You want to tell me what the hell this is all about? I told you he was about to kill me. What are you waiting for? Arrest him. Falcone was behind this. Falcone, yeah. Uh, I thought he'd been a little quiet lately. Falcone stole a shipment of chemicals. Appears to be a weaponized nerve agent. Causes people to go berserk. Turn violent. We need to act before he releases it. I got a task force on it. You already have one. Yeah, You're dude. You're taking this too far, Bruce. Yeah. You already have one. Stay back, police. <laughs> you assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. I did not. He's all right. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. Yeah, okay. <sighs> He's, whatever. Next time, it might be the morgue. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject. But as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me. I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> Don't that is that your way. gift and your curse. Hospital bills are expensive. Being that man can Not everyone to got that the Bruce Wayne money. True. How are you doing, or burn and live? Sorrow. <laughs> when you doubt but he's fate, alive, so it's remember fine. Remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. I could have tore him up, man. I'm not gonna do that. All well, right. Back into the fray again. What we got? What we got? What is it? Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... More than I could have imagined. This is a complete man. Yeah, this game is pretty fun. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I don't understand what, what was wrong. In the what's wrong world with it? Was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Falcone's been involved in everything, but it goes back years. This is an insurance policy. 
Hill could expose Falcone if he didn't play along. That would explain why he's never made a move against him. Sure as hell better than any bodyguard. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. I always trust Gordon, yo. Gordon's a good man. The cops are on the front lines of this war. Gordon needs this more than anyone. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police. And Batman... By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. Ah, snap. Ah, snap. Ah, snap. I don't want this to end. I hate that it's episodic and I gotta wait like a month or two to play the next episode. This, this is a silver bullet. And it's gonna put Falcone down once and for all. I don't even want to know where you got this. No, you don't. Still, I gotta know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. Everyone on the force will too. I heard you were the last honest man on the force. No need to blow smoke. I got enough cancer coming my way as it is. But thank you. Honestly. Knowing this evidence can lock up Falcone. <laughs> I'll sleep like a goddamn baby. For once. You know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. So you should know this isn't gonna change a thing about the investigation of your family. Wayne's always supported the Gotham Police. So I'd like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. There are no strings attached. I just want Falcone gone. You and me both. I'm tired of staring at his mugshot. That's literally an iPhone. Came straight from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. We're just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Lieutenant? Hey, stick to Jim. Jim. <laughs> It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. It was always the Batmobile? Are you kidding me right now? What? Oh, 
I'm a coming. The drone's cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. All right. Let's find Falcone. Good point of entry. Uh, this is about an hour and thirty-one minutes into this ep uh, this episode here. Where's Nikki? In lockup again? Christ, Kimmy! What did they pinch him for now? Some hit down at the docks. Nikki? No, I didn't think he was a hatchet. I can feel it's about to end, and I don't want it to well, end, man. Alibi? Funny, I'm always his alibi. <laughs> Tell me another. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ah. <laughs> You're cute. So, uh, you alone? Not anymore, Assad. Wow, oh, wow. He, he, he just, he just, he got him some. He got him some today. What is that? The white rose. Falcone's symbol. The red rose after tonight. Nothing here. Oh, there he is right there, yo. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. I'll knock. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. Robert is going to be a father. Congratulations! Oh, please tell me I'm just gonna. Just... Oh, I'd like to thank my fans for their Tenchi. <laughs> the people of Gotham, who I will be seeing. Thank you for laughing with me, buddy. Since he's gonna be a father, was he? Was he gonna be a father? What? Name his child after me. Hmm. Couple of options for taking this guy down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. Where's the other one? You right there. You, you. About to come get you. I'm coming for you. Well, Tenshi, I don't know that person. You don't get to name them? Folding screen or the table always the table always slam someone in a table if you have listen guys if you ever have the chance to slam someone on a table you take it as quick as possible it's the most satisfying thing in the world <laughs> to a pillar from the staircase oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> just throw him. There you go. Just throw him. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. This is gonna be awesome. This one might be tricky. Any ideas? Oh, I've got it covered out. Right through the door. Just right through the door. Surprise him. Formulated your plan of attack. 
Oh, you can actually switch. I'm going in. I'm going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. Here we go. What were you going to do? What were you going to do? Get out of here. Oh! That engine was a work of art. <laughs> oh! Oh, buddy. Goodbye, y'all. Oh, we got, we got a big guy. Got that circus freak. Get your goddamn hands off of my suit! Oh, please. I, you know who my lawyer's... Please. Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You've got a lot to learn, kid. Why does he have a minigun? Explosives armed. Fire when ready. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Answers now, or you fall. You, <laughs> you, fall. you want to bet? I'll make you fall. Come on. Chemicals. Where are they? I don't know why I didn't take it out. I found your calling card at the docks. The white rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? <laughs> yeah, something reeks about this whole thing. And it is a dead bat. Really? Really? What, what? What do you? Still want to play games? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals you're so riled up about, they're mine, all right? You're coming with me. But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the dock. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Go ahead. Give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Ha! Gotham. Ha. I could brutalize him. Oh, wait. Ah. Ah, 
Spill it, Falcone! While you still can. <laughs> it's... the Waynes. <laughs> They're behind all this. What do you mean? You wanna save this city? Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> what? Excuse me? Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! What? This better not be the Wayne. The Waynes were a crime family. Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club. Hey, Jack Ryder. Hi, Jack Ryder. Downtown Gotham was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue. Falcone I don't know what's happening. All right. For years, but after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about: the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. That this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here shaking hands... Oh, get out of here! Coney, ...may be just as crooked as his parents. In his what?! Defense, Wayne fired back, saying, The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We've never had and never will have connections to organized crime. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Wayne's time in the sun is ending. The suit, the car, this entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built! created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone is telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! Oh, come on! Come on! Ah. Uh... You deny Falcon only by inviting Harvey into the private room. Ugh, come on. Did you provide good COVID? I did. Wow, 92 people did. <laughs> Almost 50 50. 50% 50 of people broke this man's arm. I did. I was like, nah. I don't want him to be that part of me. Uh, give Gordon. Yeah. I'll, I'll always trust Gordon. Um, how did Batman deal with the Falcon? Wow, well, no one brutalized. No, Everyone knows how Batman is. Great. Good job, guys. I'm proud of y'all. Next time on. Oh my gosh.
When your parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them. Wow. Uh, Your parents were Telltale good needs to fix this. No matter what that thug Falcone told you. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. The evidence you brought me on Falcone held up. Maybe I misjudged you. Now Batman's beating up mobsters too. Wonder who he's after next. I swear to me. Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham? I have to distance myself. I will find the truth. Along with anyone who stands in my way. Ah, man. Come on. <laughs> What's videos? Wood. Wood. Trailers. Okay. Extras. Your choices. Crowd play. Okay. That was Batman. Oh my gosh, dude. That that was a pretty good that's a pretty good premise. I'm not gonna lie, I never seen anything like that before. I never seen Cobble Pie look so look so handsome. And you know, he looks really good, strong jaw, very powerful. <laughs> uh he can fight. It's it's a little weird. Um but I I'm 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 kinda digging it. I'm digging this story. So that was chapter one. Chapter one, man. I'm like, wow. Out of five. I'm, I'm excited to continue this story. Um, but now we have to wait an entire, what, month or so for it to come out. So, yeah. Um, as for the schedule, tomorrow, probably sometime tomorrow in... The afternoon, noonish, like three o'clock. I'm probably gonna do a surprise stream. It's not much of a surprise if I say it, right? But um, most definitely, I will do that. Cause I feel like I didn't I didn't stream long enough for this. And now we're gonna find someone to host. I think we're going to try to do a Lucio Ball Friday night. Uh, I'm going to go watch Suicide Squad Friday night. So, but if you if you guys are still doing it, then yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, do, I'll, I'll, I'll be there, Rare. All right, we'll be there. If you're not following, give me a follow. Laugh with me. We see how it is. Shush. We're gonna host Danielle over here. She's painting Zenyatta. Uh, show her some love. See it Saturday. Now, come on, bro. See it the day, the day of the day, the opening day. Again, the, the people gave this game negative reviews, and uh, I mean, I, I, I'm i loving it so far. So, yeah. Thursday night. Well, there you go. Thursday night. For you. Alright, guys. I will see you guys next time. Tomorrow. Bye-bye.